She's a Miss Universe runner-up, model, cover girl, and entertainment producer. And now Joyce Gerard is heating up this summer on NBC's hot new show, Siberia. We are so excited to have her here. Joyce, welcome. Hi. How are you? Hi, thank you so much for having me. Well, how can we not? You know, we talk about seductive here, and you are all of those things. <laughs> you are so sweet. Thank you. That's such, that was such a beautiful introduction. So thank you so, so much. <laughs> oh, well, my goodness. You mean, first of all, I just want to start out right away because there's so many young women in Hollywood that come here and, and they're hoping to get discovered overnight. And then you, at a young age, get discovered at KFC when someone drives through. Tell us about I this. I did. I did. I was such a nerd. I was uh, about 16 years. I was actually 16 years old, almost 16. And I'm there at the drive through and never in a million years did I think that somebody was going to drive through and discover me, like they say. This guy drives by and he says, are you a model? And I say, no, actually, I'm not. Are you making fun of me? Because everybody used to make fun of me for being so skinny. So I thought, okay, here we go again. He's making fun of me. And then he walked in the, in the KFC, convinced me to do a campaign. And they paid me $500 back then, and I thought I was the richest girl in the planet. Sure, I bet. <laughs> well, you must and have I, had great bone structure, and you must have been so tall that you could barely get down through the window for him to tell that you were a supermodel, you know, ready. <laughs> You're so sweet. You're so sweet. It was, it was actually fantastic. And then one thing led to the next, and I was doing a cover shoot because I was never one of these model models. I was kind of like a tomboy model. Um, and modeling for me was just a great way to make money and pay for my school because I wanted to finish my two bachelor degrees that I was lucky enough to finish. So after that one thing... Beautiful was, and I was, brains. <laughs> <laughs> I was doing this cover shoot and the makeup artist dared me to compete in the Miss Puerto Rico and then the rest was history for me. Wow. And then, of course, you play second runner-up in the Miss Universe pageant. Yes, I was second runner-up. It was a great experience. I think it was actually one of my proudest moments besides the moment where I married the love of my life and the moment where I had my beautiful children. Aww. I think my proudest moment in life has been to be able to stand on a stage and say, hi, I'm Puerto Rico, you know, because it's, it's where I was born. And it's so much pride running through your veins. It, it was just an incredible moment that I will treasure forever in my heart. Well, I'm so glad you met the love of your life because we love love here at the Mall House. Aww, <laughs> We're all amazing. about that and romance. But Oh, he's amazing. We've been together for almost 11 years now, 10 and a half. Good for you. So what do you do to keep the fires burning at home? I think to keep the fire burning, you just have to always be yourself. You can never act like something you're not, and you have to always remain best friends because when you remain best friends you not only talk about everything but everything you do together is fun so I think that's my one big advice that I give to all my girlfriends and then after you're best friends and you love being together and you love each other the passion is always there because you know you sure you have your sexy times like I say <laughs> well good so you manage to have sexy time with children right well, all the time of course you can't lose that I know everyone just because you had a child doesn't mean that you have to lose sight or lose track or lose passion in your relationship. You have to always remember what brought you together in the first place. Well, I could just talk to you for hours about romance and seduction, but we've got to talk about your new hit series, Siberia. Yes, <laughs> Siberia. I love talking about seduction, too. <laughs> oh, me too. Seduction and Siberia. They go hand in hand, right? <laughs> get seduced with Siberia. There, well, apparently you are doing quite a good job with that because America is being seduced with Siberia and you are starring in it. Now that this show turns the table on reality shows out there, this is so interesting because I'm surprised this really hasn't happened before, but the cast is actual actors portraying a reality show. Yes. So how does that work? That's just crazy. It's a whole new genre that hasn't really been explored much in television. So it's it's a reality show within the TV show. So the show Siberia is about a group of 16 contestants that go to Syria, Russia, to compete in a reality show for hundred thousand dollars, being the ultimate. Um, and they're all competing. They, the stakes are really high because all of the characters really need the money for their different reasons. In my personal case, Carolina needs the money because her uncle needs an urgent operation. So she really wants that $500,000. She's willing to, willing to do whatever it takes to win that money. But the other contestants are also willing to do whatever it takes. So everything, the, the, the big premise of the game is that there are no rules. So all is good until they realize that they're dropped there in the middle of nowhere and that producers have abandoned them and now they're lost. Wow. Well, if you're just joining me, I'm visiting with the hot new star of Siberia, Joyce Gerard. Okay, so now that you've portrayed this 
reality character under these conditions. Do you have a little bit more empathy for the people like on, you know, these shows where they get dropped in the middle of nowhere for real? No, I think I, everybody asked me, would you do a show like this if it was real life? And you know what? I think probably under my circumstances right now where I have two children and I'm happily married, I went and go and dropped in the middle of nowhere. That said, one of my kids needed an urgent operation and I didn't have the money. I would go and do that show in a heartbeat. Sure. So I think that it all depends on the circumstances that people are doing it for. I wouldn't do it to become famous, which is the reason why a lot of people go on, on these shows. I wouldn't do it for the fame aspect of it, but I would definitely do it if I needed the money and the grand prize is, is money that I really need for somebody that I love. A hundred percent, I would go do it. So at this point, your experience when you get out there into the wilds, I mean, you still are going to experience some of the same things that the reality shows actually experience because of the weather conditions and whatnot. I'm, I'm sure you're running into bugs and snakes and all kinds of things. It was the craziest thing. On day one of filming, I stepped on a frog and twisted my ankle. Oh, my gosh. It was, honestly, it was the most brutal circumstances I've ever been in any shoot. Oh, my gosh. Swim with snakes and with shrimps going and fishes going through my legs. Not to mention homicide on a frog. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. So you twisted your ankle. What else? When we were shooting, there were these bugs that were like four inch bugs. It was insane. Oh, it, not good. Later on in the shoot, I mean, you'll see later on as the show progresses, we've been in the most brutal weather you could possibly imagine. I mean, it was, it was quite something. It wow. Was- so Siberia is hot, hot, hot. But I want to talk about something that I know is personally important to you, and I love this about you, and that's that you launched the Queen of the Universe pageant. Tell me about why you did this. This is so cool. Queen of the Universe is something that I thought about for like seven years before I finally launched it this year. Our premiere was January 27th, and I wanted to do a pageant that gave girls the opportunity to represent their countries and and to have that pride and that platform that I was lucky enough to have, regardless if they're single, married, divorced, if they want to be lesbians, if they have had children. Because a lot of people say, you know, in all the pageants, if you had a child at a young age, you no longer qualify to represent your country. And to me, a child is not a mistake that a girl did at a young age. A child is a blessing. And, Mm -hmm. you know, to spread the message and say, these women, they're all empowering women, and they can all represent their countries. So I wanted to make a very different pageant, and the base of my pageant is for UNESCO. It's the United Nations Education, Science, and Culture Organization, because my dream is to continue my mother-in-law's legacy. She's built over 400 schools around the world, and I want to continue building schools around the world because I don't think that a child should be brought to this world with no education. I agree completely. It has to be a natural-born right. No child should be born you know, thinking if they're going to have education or not. It should be something that they have regardless, whether they choose it or not later, that's their choice, but they should have the access to it. Wow. Well, Joyce, you are a pleasant surprise. Gorgeous. So sweet. Brains, philanthropic. I mean, you deserve the success you're getting, and it's such a wonderful thing. And before before I have to go here, I want you to just maybe tell my listeners, if they're wanting to pursue acting, what would be one tip you could leave us with? I would say that if you want to pursue acting, <clears throat> first of all, you can read a lot of books and try to start studying it because that's what I did personally. I started reading about it, and then I took classes. There's never an overnight success like they hear about in Hollywood. That never happens. You have to study. You have to prepare yourself and then go out there and and pursue your dream. But be prepared, because when you're prepared, regardless if you book that audition or not, you're going to feel good about yourself because you know you gave it your all. But when you are not prepared, then that's when you feel like crap when you don't book stuff. And you have to always not lose perspective that there's a million people out there you know, going out for the same part you want. So it's it's a numbers game. You can't get frustrated and you just have to keep dreaming and keep believing and never give up on your dream. And, you know, you can't take it personally. I've always said my daughter-in-law is an actress and she's great. And there's so many young girls out there and it's so tough because, you know, you all get into a room and everybody's, you know, got their own special something, you know, about them. And then you get into the audition and the producers are really choosing who they in their mind see in that role. And it's not to be taken personally or take away from anybody who's trying out for the part. Oh, no, no, no. You can't take away any merits. You know, there's, they're all, every actor is good in their own way. So 
you can't take away any merits. And sometimes, you know, Hollywood is all about reduction. You're too tall. You're too short. You're mm-hmm. too fat. You're too thin. You ha- your hair's too long. Your hair's too short. Oh, you're brunette. We wanted a blonde. You know, there, there's always something. The reason why they reject you. You you know, you you go to a million auditions before right. you book one. So you can never take it personal. You don't know if that day the casting director is having a bad day. and Exactly. You somebody that they hated in high school and you remind them of that person. You know, there's so many factors as in life. So sure. you have to never lose sight and just always, if you have that dream and you have that goal, just never give up. That's a, That's an advice that um, Helen Mirren once gave me that advice. Um, she oh. I got my Oscar when I was in my old days. So, you know, and, and she's one of my favorite actresses of all times and well, and she's a great example for women. Exactly. But it's never too late, right? Never too late. You just have to keep going and pursuing your dreams because it's never too late to, to pursue your dreams. Well, she's the star. She's hot. She's Joyce Gerard, and she's on this new series. What night are you on, Joyce? It's Monday night, NBC, Siberia. Well, we'll be watching, and thanks so much for coming and talking to us today. Thank you so much. I sent all of you guys a big, big kiss. God bless you all. Well, big kiss back to you, girl.